Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of What Can Contrast Do? Um, this is my short series of, I guess, almost like Q&A videos about um, what can the Citadel Contrast paints accomplish. Uh, and I've taken some viewer questions on my Facebook page and basically tried to make a short series of videos, having never done painting videos before, um, to highlight some of their effects. So this is a video about uh, doing white power armor. So this is actually using, I do actually now have um, the new Citadel Contrast uh, primers. They showed up a day after I made all my videos because you can't ship paint and, and aerosols together. So they arrived late, but luckily I had the two, um, the two base paints that I could use to, to highlight everything with. And um, so what I wanted to try this time now is with the primer, uh, the question was, instead of using the Apothecary White, some people weren't super impressed with the effects of it, can you take the Basilicum Gray, Basilicanum Gray, and thin it down with some of the medium um, to give yourself, so this is like the big pots of medium, to give yourself a thinned gray as opposed to, like a darker lining basically, panel lining. So I'm gonna take some of that, uh, I, I'm gonna add some water too, just to thin it down even more. So some viscous stuff, some water. Paint water is actually a little bit dirty, but I'm gonna throw granite anyway, so I'm not super worried about it. And thin out even a little bit more. So this is some of the medium, some water, and the, the whatchamacallit, basilicanum gray now, over top of the gray sear. And we're gonna give this a try and see how it looks. This was the question is, can I get a darker line, basically, uh, doing it this way than versus doing it with um, the apothecary white? They just didn't, they, they, they'd seen some tutorials on the apothecary white and they thought it was too pale. So I'm gonna try it this way. I'm also gonna try mixing the same sort of like technique with the Space Wolves Gray to give a slight blue-gray tint. I'm gonna do half the guy with this and half the guy with the Space Wolves Gray. And we'll see how it turns out. So this is the Basilicanum Gray with a bit of the medium and some water. And we'll do this leg with the Basilicanum and we'll do the other leg and half of the body with, um, and this arm too, and we'll do the other leg and the half of the body with the Space Wolves Gray with that same treatment where it's thinned down a little bit to do white power armor. And so far, so good. It's doing what I thought it would do, where it's lining a little bit better, but it's still pulling back. I mean, it's a little gray. It's, I mean, I mean the primer's gray. <laughs> so you're still, getting, you're still getting a bit of gray, but it's not so, and I'm sorry, I keep calling it primer. It's not primer, it's spray paint. There's black primer underneath this guy. Uh, Cause there was no way that I was just gonna put sp like spray paint on this model and not have it potentially chip. So there is a layer of black primer under here, but I did a heavy, heavy coat um, of the uh, the gray sear over top of it. So yeah, that's, that's pretty encouraging actually. There's definitely more definition using the medium and the basilicanum gray than there is doing it just uh, with that apothecary white. That's a much stronger definition. And I mean, I'm pretty happy with that for like just lining up the panels and stuff. If I was doing white scars or white consoles or one of those any space marines with white in the name, basically power armor. Um, that's pretty good. And I think we can probably tint it blue uh, just by doing the exact same thing, but using the Space Wolves contrast paints and the same exact thing. So we're gonna do some of the the uh, the medium mixed into it. So let's grab some, some medium, throw it in there, just do it inside the palette. And you can tell my palettes are all super old GW palettes. And again, there's a bit of, my paint water's dirty, but I'm not super worried about that because we're gonna throw this in anyway and thin it down. It's gonna just disappear into the, the space wolf's color. Quick and dirty. Thin that down. And we'll do the other side with this blue gray. And I think we're gonna get a similar effect. It's just gonna look a bit more cool color-y, yeah. And that, I think that's, that's giving us um, just a different kind of like tone to the white power armor. Like that's, that's more what I would call an apothecary white right, where it's got that kind of like almost medical blue to it, that kind of a blue shade. We'll do this side of his helmet and the other side of his backpack. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely a really quick way to white power armor. And I suspect when this dries, we'll have a nice clean transition. And I think this is what people were expecting Apothecary White to look like. And Apothecary White is very light, like it's, it's so light, it's almost invisible. Like we used a bunch of it and you can barely see it. Um, so there it is, two, two takes on using different contrast paints to achieve that same white power armor. Um, not, not apothecary white though. <laughs> and again, you might get some pooling. I think with this technique in general, 
um, it's going to be far more important to go back and neaten up your paint job, like go and hunt down all those little, like there's a little bit of extra right there. I'm just going to go and hunt down, blot it up with a, a dry paintbrush um, to pull it out. But so far, so good. That's a, wow, it's almost dry on this side already. That's a really slick looking white. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that actually. If I was going to go and um, just do the details in this guy, there'll be some really good looking white power armor. Uh, so yeah, so let's, let's let him dry. I'll throw him on the turntable and you can see what he looks like when he's done. All right, so here is uh, Mr. Apothecary uh, without Apothecary White. <laughs> and I am stoked about how this turned out. I think the Space Wolf Gray um, and Basilicum Gray with a bit of the medium and a touch of water is the way to rock and roll. I am, when you guys watch me do it, I am stoked about how this dried. It preserved 90% of the grace here that went on with the rattle can and did all the panel lining I wanted. It's got a nice kind of like aircraft panel. There's grease in the recesses kind of look to it. Didn't pool, didn't go muddy, had a great job with the capillary action, didn't require any cleaning. Like I didn't touch this guy after I put him down and except for like one or two areas low on the shoulder pads um, where there's a tiny bit of like thickening in the lining where the detail's gone heavy, this turned out great. So I think you've got two great options for white power armor here that are not apothecary white. Um, and that would be Space Wolves Gray and um, Basilicum grain, what I would do is I would get an empty paint pot and I would figure out what your ratios are, mixing on the palette, and then mix yourself a pot of this. Right. So like don't don't try and mix it every time because you're never gonna get it consistent. Get an empty paint pot, you know, or dump out a paint pot. <laughs> I don't know if I dump one out, I just get an empty one or even like a dropper bottle, and then just go ratio of I it's roughly a third here, I'm pretty sure. I think I did about one third of each of these colors with one third medium and one third um water and you could just make yourself a pot of this for either these two colors and then rock and roll some white power armor over top of that gray sear spray so uh, i am of all of the four new things i tried today uh, i think that this is the one i'm the most excited about and was certainly the most successful and that's using the uh, mechanic or basilicum basilicanum gray and space was gray for paint and white power armor uh and as an alternative to this apothecary white which i think is again just not 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 dark enough it just needs to be a little bit darker and this is a good medium so there's my recipe roughly one third one third one third but obviously tinker with it and see what works for you but those two contrast paints are a baller way of doing uh, white power armor that i think is um way way better looking that when it's all said and done and dry than the apothecary white mm -hmm.